to today's shelf tour. So I thought I would show you all my new shelf that I actually received for Christmas. I will link all of the information for any of the products, including the bookshelf, down below for you, just in case you wanted to see for yourself how to get some of these things if you're interested. This new shelf is actually in my bedroom, which allows for a lot more filming during the days. This definitely serves as the new backdrop to a lot of my videos, and it kind of just includes a lot of my favorite books or books that I think are just really beautiful. So let's kind of go shelf by shelf and I'll explain how I've set everything up. Starting at the very top shelf, we have my Lord of the Rings books and Harry Potter books. So I do have paperbacks and the Nerdy Ink dust jackets uh, for both of these sets. They're just some of my favorites. So here are the jackets from the Nerdy Ink company for the complete Lord of the Rings set, including The Hobbit. I just absolutely adore the art style. I think it's adorable. And then here are some of the Harry Potter dust jackets. And here are the other three. All right, and then moving on down, we have this shelf here, which essentially is some of my favorite UK paperback covers that I have for some adult fantasy series. So starting with the Game of Thrones editions, I just thought that these were so stunning. They're all available on Book Depository or Blackwell's with free international shipping. Here are some of those covers from the front and here are the other covers. And then moving right along we have some artwork that my cousin did for me that I love as well as a plant and then some really popular adult fantasy books uh, including Lies of Locke Lamora, Assassin's Apprentice, Name of the Wind, and The Ninth Rain. So the only one I've read of these is Lies of Locke Lamora so far, but I definitely plan on reading the other three very, very soon, and I'm kind of leaving room on this shelf for sequels to these series in case I decide to continue on with them. So that is the second shelf. All right, here is the third shelf. We have just this little doll that I got from Austria when I studied abroad there. Uh, my plant is kind of covering up the, the light that serves as a bookend for me. This I actually received for Christmas a couple years ago and I really love the lighting that it provides. And then we have the Barnes & Noble collectible editions. So I kind of arranged them by color to kind of make a rainbow for myself. These are definitely my favorite classics additions to collect. I find them just really affordable and very, very beautiful. They always do such a good job on their editions. So let's go through them. We have Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby and other classic works, Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park and The Lost World, Little Women and Other Novels by Louisa May Alcott, Beauty and the Beast and Other Classic Fairy Tales, Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None and Other Classic Mysteries, Frank Herbert's Dune, Stephen King's The Stand. Moving right along, we have the rest, including Frank Baum's The Wizard of Oz, Jane Austen, Seven Novels, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Stories by Lewis Carroll, Agatha Christie's A Murder on the Orient Express and Other Hercule Poirot Mysteries. Ernest Hemingway's novels, including The Sun Also Rises, For Whom the Bell Tolls, A Farewell to Arms, and The Old Man in the Sea. Douglas Adams' The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the first five novels. And the only one that isn't a Barnes & Noble collectible is actually this Easton Press edition of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. So that is the third shelf. All right, moving right along here, we have the rest of my Barnes & Noble collectible editions. We have Heidi by Joanna Spirey, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen, the Call of the Wild by Jack London, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, 
The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. H.P. Lovecraft's The Complete Fiction. Stephen King's Carrie, The Shining, and Salem's Lot. And Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man and Juneteenth. I also do have the Bone Shard Daughter on this shelf only because I need to film with it soon. So that usually isn't here. <laughs> Moving right along on this shelf, we have this little moonlight that I bought. I just love how it looks at night when it's glowing and it can change colors. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of flashes on camera, so I'm sorry about that. And then right next to that, we actually have the beginnings of my penguin clothbound classic editions, which I've just started uh, collecting as of Christmas of this past year. So it's a very small collection so far, but I'm planning on leaving some room there because I do want to start collecting these editions as I read these classics. So, so far we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, 1984 by George Orwell, and Animal Farm by George Orwell. So that is the fourth shelf. All right, moving right along on our fifth shelf, I had to make a space for my favorite fantasy series of all time so far, and that is the Stormlight Archives. So I have all of my UK paperback editions here that I actually do read from, and then I also have the US hardcovers that I collect because I just love both editions so much, and it being my favorite series of all time, I just love collecting it. So that has a special place on this shelf. Here are the front of all of the US hardcovers. All right, and moving to the other side of this shelf, I actually have kind of a random assortment here, but these are just some of my favorite covers that I own and love to look at so much. Um, it includes a very new release, one of my most anticipated of the year, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, which I'm definitely planning on reading soon because I've heard nothing but the most amazing things about this book. Circe, also by Madeline Miller, and this edition is just one of my favorites. I think it is so stunning. Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully, which was one of my almost favorites of last year. I thought it was such a gorgeous novel, and the cover is just one of the most beautiful I've seen. I absolutely adore the artwork for The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is still one I definitely want to read this year, and my goodness, that cover is one of my favorites for sure. As well as, again, one of my favorite covers of all time, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, which I'm planning on reading this year as well, and that pastel, those colors are just so stunning. So that is the fifth shelf here. Now for the last shelf. This one's actually hard to display because this whole section that you see right here is constantly changing because it's my monthly TBR. So spoiler alert for my February TBR, but this is constantly changing, rotating with new books as I decide which ones I'm going to read the next month. So that's what this whole section is for. So I'm not going to go over each book there. And then I have my whole Outlander series. And I actually thought it would be perfect for this shelf because I don't have any other mass market paperbacks. So kind of having its own little section here really works. So I like having them on this shelf to display. And then the last section here is actually a couple of other Barnes & Noble editions that are a little bit larger than some of the others. And they're all children's editions. So we have The Complete Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. A Madeline Treasury by Ludwig Bemelmans, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Other Illustrated Classics by Roald Dahl, and finally The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne. So I actually thought they worked here because they perfectly fit this shelf and they don't completely match the other Barnes & Noble editions, but I still love them and definitely wanted to have them a part of this shelf. All right, so hopefully that was enjoyable for you all to see the new shelf setup and new backdrop for my videos. If you have any questions about anything you saw, just let me know and I will again link as many things as I can in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.